then you can always talk to us on our social media platforms below your screens. But President William Ruto now says Kenya will tap on Singapore's housing model to actualize the affordable housing project in Kenya. Speaking when he met Singapore's Prime Minister Lee Hussein Long, the head of state said Kenya will consider Singapore's strategic location in Asia to make inroads into the Asian market. Flora Limuki begins a bulletin tonight. President William Ruto says Kenya will use Singapore to tap into the Asian market, addressing the press in the company of Singapore's Prime Minister Lee Long. At State of Nairobi, the head of state said Kenya will borrow Singapore's model when building the affordable houses to achieve affordable housing for every Kenyan. I don't want us to postpone this agenda anymore, and thus I am asking Kenyans to make the choice by saving into the housing fund so that 60 years from now, we can also have a similar success story to tell. Kenya and Singapore have signed three memorandum of understanding to enhance development between the two countries. This is information, communication and technology to enhance a fast tracking and digitization of government services. The signing of Climate Change Pact will build a collective action to deal with the greatest existential threat to mankind that is climate change. We sign an MOU and carbon credits collaboration under Article 6 of the Paris Agreement and this will encourage, develop and facilitate collaborative carbon credit projects of mutual interest. The Climate Change Act 2023 bill that is currently going through public participation as the introduction of the carbon credits are some of the proposals to amend in a bid to combat climate change. We then decided that we need to amend our Climate Change Act to be able to provide a provision for establishment of climate uh, carbon markets uh, framework, legal and policy framework for us to be able to to raise funds for climate uh, action. Political pundits have attributed the recent visit by the heads of state to Asian countries as a way of positioning themselves to strengthen the relationship with President Ruto's government. They have the same agenda. How to counter the seeming success of Russia and China in Africa. And that's what they are trying to do. Uh, they do not succeed very well. There's no good reason uh, for what they are claiming. Um, because they either slept on the job or they didn't care before. Kenya and Singapore have agreed to operationalize a treaty that they signed five years ago to improve trade and investment between the two countries. Flora Limuki, TV 47.